Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Consider the following statements with respect to Commonwealth Telecommunication Organization. It is the oldest and largest Commonwealth membership organization in the field of information and communication technologies. India is a member country of the CTO and it comprises of 33 countries as its members. So we have to select the correct statement or statements. Both are correct. C is the correct option. If we talk about Department of Telecommunication, the Government of India and the Commonwealth Telecommunication Organization, they organized an online event by the name of Digital Transformation Center Stage India. Now, it showcases and highlights successes of India in effective information and communication technologies adoption in order to encourage CTO member countries for adopting transformative digital solutions. India is a member country of the CTO and it comprises of 33 countries as its members. The CTO is the oldest and largest Commonwealth membership organization in the field of ICTs. Consider the following statements. Navroz is the New Year celebration for Zoroastrians and Shia Muslims only. It is inscribed in the list of UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity of India. We have to select the correct statement. Only second is correct. B is the correct answer. Navroz is the New Year celebration for Parsis that are Zoroastrians and Muslims, both Shia and Sunni. It is celebrated on 21st March every year in 1079 AD, a Persian king named Jalaluddin Malak Shah introduced this festival to generate revenue and collect taxes from people. It is inscribed in the list of UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity of India. In India, it is known as Jamshed Navroz. Consider the following statements regarding Golden Langur. It is endemic to Western Assam, India and Southern Bhutan. It has been listed as vulnerable in the IUCN list of threatened species. It is also known as leaf monkey. As we have to select the correct statement, C is the correct option. 1 and 3 are correct. A recent study by scientists has suggested a significant decline in the habitat of golden langur. Golden langurs can be most easily recognized by the color of their fur after which they are named. It has been noted that their fur changes colors according to the seasons as well as geography, that is the region they live in. They are highly dependent on trees, living in the upper canopy of forests and they are also known as leaf monkeys. It is endemic to western Assam, India and southern Bhutan. Their habitat is restricted to regions surrounded by four geographical landmarks, the foothills of Bhutan, Manas River, Sankosh River and Brahmaputra River. Protection status is as follows. In IUCN list of threatened species, it is endangered. In sites, it is in Appendix 1 and under Wildlife Protection Act 1972, it is in Schedule 1. Consider the following statements. Genome sequencing is a technique that alters the information in DNA and RNA. Coronavirus genome is made up of DNA, that is deoxyribonucleic acid. We have to select the correct statement or statements. None of them are correct. D is the correct answer. Seven laboratories in Maharashtra are scrambling for samples for genome sequencing to study changes or mutations in virus structures over time. Genome sequencing is figuring out the order of DNA nucleotides or bases in a genome. This means genome sequencing is a technique that reads and interprets genetic information found within DNA or RNA. While human genomes are made of DNA, a virus genome can be made of either DNA or RNA. Coronavirus is made of RNA. Consider the following statements regarding the World Happiness Report 2022. Norway was the first country to emphasize the importance of national happiness over national income. Finland has been named the world's happiest country for the fifth year running. It is published by the United Nations Development Program. So we have to select the correct statement. Only the second is correct. B is the correct answer. Recently, the World Happiness Report 2022 was published by the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network. This year marks the 10th anniversary of World Happiness Report. The United Nations started to celebrate the International Day of Happiness in 2013, but a resolution for the same was passed in July 2012. The resolution was first initiated by Bhutan. It emphasized on the importance of national happiness over national income. Since the early 1970s, it is thereby adopted the gross national happiness over gross national product. Finland has been named the world's happiest country for the fifth year running followed by Denmark.
the biggest gains in happiness have taken place in Serbia, Bulgaria and Romania and India saw a marginal improvement in its ranking, jumping three spots to 136 from 139 a year ago. Consider the following statements. Equinox is the only time when both hemispheres of Earth experience roughly equal amounts of daytime and nighttime. In the southern hemisphere, the vernal equinox is observed around 21st March. As we have to select the correct statement, only the first is correct, A is the correct answer. The equinoxes are the only time when both the northern and southern hemisphere experience roughly equal amounts of daytime and nighttime. This is because the sun is exactly above the equator, which makes day and night of equal length. Vernal equinox on the March or spring equinox is observed around 21st March in northern hemisphere. It is observed around 23rd September in Southern Hemisphere. Consider the following statements with respect to Bhagat Singh. In 1926, Bhagat Singh established the Naujawan Bharat Sabha. Bhagat Singh was hanged by the British on March 23rd, 1931 in the Kakori conspiracy case. So we have to select the correct statement. Only the first is correct, A is the correct answer. After the AAP's Bhagwant Maan took over as Chief Minister of Punjab, the photograph of Bhagat Singh installed at his office has run into a controversy. Bhagat Singh was born in a Sikh family in Banga village of Faisalabad district, previously called Lyalpur, now in Pakistan's Punjab province, on 27 September 1907. In 1926, Bhagat Singh established the Naujawan Bharat Sabha. He also joined the Hindustan Republic Association, later known as Hindustan Socialist Republican Association. During the time, he met many anti-colonial activists. In December 1928, he, along with Sukhdev and Rajguru, planned to avenge the death of Indian nationalist leader Lala Lajpat Rai and plotted to assassinate the superintendent of police, James Scott in Lahore. Bhagat Singh and his revolutionary comrades, Rajguru and Sukhdev, were hanged by the British on March 23, 1931, in the Lahore conspiracy case. 2022 laureate of the Pritzker Architecture Prize, the profession's highest honor architect, Diberto Francis Kere, belongs to which of the following countries? The correct answer is Burkina Faso. The 57-year-old architect, Debido Francis Kere, is the first architect from Africa to win the prestigious Pritzker's Architecture Prize in its over four-decade history. He was born in the village of Kando in West Africa's Burkina Faso and then got into Technische Universitat Berlin, one of Europe's renowned education institutions. Women Transforming India Awards has been established by which of the following organizations or institutes? Niti Aayog is the correct answer. Niti Aayog's Women Entrepreneurship Platform will confer 75 women in its fifth edition of the Women Transforming India Awards today. The Aayog said, that the awards will be given by an equally exceptional group of women, including former Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry Kiran Bedi, former Assistant Secretary General of UN Lakshmi Puri, former Chairperson of SBI Arundhati Bhattacharya and many more. Consider the following statements with respect to tropical cyclones. It has a low pressure center. The central part of the cyclone is where the weather is normally calm and free of clouds. The winds blow counterclockwise in northern hemisphere and clockwise in southern hemisphere. We have to select the correct statement. All are correct. D is the correct answer. Cyclone Asani is likely to develop into a cyclonic storm over the Anman Sea on Monday and a tropical cyclone is a rapid rotating storm originating over tropical oceans from where it draws the energy to develop. It has a low pressure center and clouds spiraling towards the eye wall surrounding the eye, the central part of the system where the weather is normally calm and free of clouds. Its diameter is typically around 200 to 500 km but can reach 1000 km. The winds blow counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. And it brings very violent winds, torrential rain, high waves and in some cases very destructive storm surges and coastal flooding. They, above a certain strength, are given names in the interest of public safety. Consider the following statements with respect to National Public Health Act. Once enacted, it will replace the Epidemics Disease Act 1897. It will also cover public health emergencies caused by bioterrorism, natural disasters, chemical and nuclear attacks or accidents. We have to select the not correct statement. Both are correct. D is the correct answer. 
the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has started the process of finalizing various provisions of the draft bill for a new national public health law. The proposed National Public Health Act has been in the works since 2017 and once enacted will replace the 125-year-old Epidemic Disease Act 1897. It will also cover public health emergencies caused by bioterrorism, natural disasters, chemical and nuclear attacks or accidents. The draft bill proposes a four-tier health administration architecture with multi-sectoral national, state, district and block level public health authorities who will have well-defined powers and functions to deal with public health emergencies. Which of the following African countries border the Mediterranean Sea? Egypt, Algeria, Libya, Morocco. So answer it correctly. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.